gamers. Prepare to be disappointed because this it's a uh, gaming. The Game Boys. Well, I've never played it. I was saying before we actually started recording that my one caveat for being on this is that we get the soft cannon as soon as physically possible. <laughs> I don't care what we have. Oh, the soft cannon. It's basically <laughs> Kirby. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. You got yeah, it pretty early in the game anyway. It yeah. Sucks. It's basically Kirby. So, like, what you get is you, if the enemy is small enough, you can just suck them into your gun and then fire them out of the rockets. <laughs> oh my god, but, that's so cool. But it's called the soft cannon, so that doesn't matter what it does. That's just yeah. an amazing name. Give them the soft the cannon. Hell yeah. <laughs> Basically a flashlight. <laughs> you want me to do what to your cannon? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's got my lips around it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 my, my, my lips are so dry. I haven't had a drink in eight years. <laughs> Man. Have you finished the big last show, Ryan? No, I haven't watched it in, in years. It's a, it's like I got halfway through. I think I finished season four, I think, and I haven't watched it since then, I don't think. Yeah, I finished it. It's a, it's a good ending, but that last season is uh, it's less of the random humor that was in the yeah. first season. That's what I really like. That's what I, I think the third season's the best because like they just had random kind of skits in it. Where, yeah, I liked that a lot. Like all the Clarence stuff is so fucking funny. Yeah. Well, actually, they do they do a good thing with uh, Clarence. They do some good stuff with Clarence in the last season, actually. Pretty funny. But the episodes are, like, a lot longer, so you have to, like, really mm. sit down and watch it. Who is this? A clone army? I don't know the Clarence would have. It's me. <laughs> the Emperor. Wait a minute, this is, uh... It's the big bad boss, just kidding. Don't big me. bad boss. Don't hurt me. <laughs> the, the big bad boss. The, the... Torturers. Hey, torturers! Yes. Hell yeah! Torture. Back to Cock yes. Cock yes. Cock yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cannon now. Hold him down. <laughs> Torture, you see? That gets me nether regions all rich. <laughs> Sign me up. I haven't oh, had no. nether regions in years. <laughs> Has this ever to you? <laughs> Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe nice. me, there's nothing worse than stirring down a Blargy and Snagglebeast. Captain Quark. I adore Captain Quark. He's one of the greatest characters ever made. For all my electronic needs. Been I'm going to be Quark all over the floor. Quark's across the room. Quark's across the room. So if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grass... I fucking hate Quark's lips mechanics. <laughs> I love the- I love the pause after he says, If you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime, and he goes, <laughs> And it just zooms in. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, looked, he looked like the game version of, you know that- that old vine where they're pouring cereal into the guy's lip? That's what he looks like. <laughs> That's a really good description. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your You can count. Anakin. Anakin. Getting all those nuts. I have a bit of a <laughs> This game is a uh, is actually pretty like uh, cheap. Doesn't want to give you any nuts. Ah. So you gotta collect all the nuts. You see. I'm gonna not. What I really liked about the Ratchet and Clank series, they're not. They don't like handhold you. Mm. All the way through it. Yeah, it's pretty kind of just kind of open world, I guess. Well, they're like, these are the so, weapons you can buy. You won't be able to buy all of them. Pick, see what suits you, 
and just go with it. If you want the armor, if you want to upgrade, you gotta work for it. Or even Did the this... replay, like... Hmm? No, go on, go on. I was saying the um, the replay value when it comes to like missions and the like, where you go between the planets and then you realize, ah, you accomplished one thing on one planet and then realize, ah, I can go back to another planet and actually do something instead of it just being a linear process of do the thing, do the thing, do the thing, yeah. do the thing. It's a, like, it's a really um... nice effect that makes you explore more and traverse and get better. Gives you reasons to go back to levels. <clears throat> Honestly, the Metropolis, like this level right here, is probably the oh, best so looking gorgeous. level in all three of the games. In it all the video gorgeous. game history, I would say, Sean. <laughs> I've never <laughs> seen anything so beautiful. On a PS2, it's pretty good. I... Okay. I'd buy this. My pew pew blaster. <laughs> uh, no so can I address that? <laughs> <laughs> move past it. Just move past that? it. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. That's what we um, all call our dicks, right? <laughs> <laughs> that is the joke you were going for with him. I, just I don't, know what you're, entirely. don't know what you're talking about, don't I? I've got like a distinct memory of like overspending my money on this and just buying every weapon and then not really being able to finish it properly on the last level. God, this. The last this... level is pretty hard. Yeah, it's super hard. Out of all the Ratchet and Clank uh, stuff, I do remember this uh, area for some reason. I probably watched they, someone they, play they it. They revisited it in um, Ratchet and Clank 2 as well, Metropolis. Look at this guy, he looks pretty tough, right? I mean, oh, he did. I can't get my range. Uh, there, you, there we go. Wait, I mean, he oh. did. <laughs> very, very tough. Uh, I'm just Damn, gonna edit it out when I said shot. it the first time. Yeah. <laughs> Great timing, though. <laughs> <laughs> Note to self. Should we just put in a clap or something? Yeah. So, a, la a laugh and trick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a boo, like an audience boo. <laughs> Just a weird aww. Electrovert was gamed in front of a live audience. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, to be fair, you could leave it in and then just have the the curb your enthusiasm. Oh yeah. Look at this guy. Oh, what a I like the no I like oh, the noise he makes. I mean. Side note, but do you know in Happy Days? Happy yeah. Days? Yeah, what do you mean? in the first season. Um... I don't know any Happy Days. <laughs> <laughs> All what I know is, is Made in Suffering. What is that? But the, the, um, the TV show. Um, yeah. In the first season, Ron Howard's character had a brother. But like one episode, he went up to the attic to get a tennis racket and never came back down. <laughs> like, <laughs> so they wrote him out of the show. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Are you for real? Yeah. That's like the number on Team Queens. Remember uh, Carrie, ha Carrie had a sister like er, in the first yeah. episodes and then gone forever then after like the first three. There's like, it was a list of um, characters like that just stop being in shows. It's, it's like a system called getting uh, on the bus. What's the, what's the name of Parks and Rec? Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was such a big character, right? Yeah. The first two seasons and never ever mentioned him again. And he gave her the the plans for an, a park, yeah, and she like, that was never referenced again. Even when no. they, even when they're going through like Anne's ex boyfriends, he was never even mentioned in that either. And I, like who did, who did he hurt? <laughs> you see, actually, they they did the they did the quarantine special uh, thing a uh, few days ago. I saw they were doing it, but I didn't actually watch it. I didn't actually. If you watch it, no, but I've seen clips of it, they're playing, um, by a little Sebastian, like, on... Se <laughs> by little Sebastian. He, like, uh, he ran, like, tearing up during it as well, like, everything. <laughs> oh my god. And just, like, Ben, <laughs> Ben, you complaining about the song. <laughs> <laughs> Were they in character? Yeah, yeah, they're all in character. 
Doctor. Oh, right, too. Did you see the two uh, big bits of news today? Well, like, film news. So, Demolition Man 2 Michael, is happening. Demolition Man 2? Yep, so that's just oh, the that was the being made. That was the first um, R-rated film I ever watched. Like, Really? Yeah, I thought it was badass watching it, because, like, Wesley <laughs> Snipes, like, steals someone's eye on a pen. Um, is he in it? Wait, yeah, it's Wesley Snipes versus... Um, in the second Sylvester one. Stallone. I don't know the second one. That's oh, yeah. so that's just being confirmed. And then yeah. Nicolas Cage is playing Joe Exotic. Oh, I think. <laughs> Wait, that. what? Uh, Wait, what? Yep. That's Nicolas Cage is playing Joe Exotic. Yeah, that's. Uh, what? It's it's perfect, but. Yeah. Yep. Know who I really want oh to be God. in it though? Uh, Danny McBride. I think he'd be the best person to own it. Danny McBride would be perfect oh my God, for yeah. Joe Exotic. No, not for Joe. Oh no! For, for the other <laughs> oh, guy. Oh, come on. <laughs> no! Well, uh, that happened. Uh, it's like Danny McBride is perfect for um, the character. I think it's the second time you brought up uh, fan casts uh, for Tiger King, but uh, someone posted um, Batista to play uh, the the guy, his what the tattooed boyfriend, John Finley. John oh, Finley. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> I think Danny McBride would be perfect for the uh, the guy who owned all the strip clubs. Yeah. What was his name again? Oh, that guy with the. Guy who's on the jet ski. And, yeah. And then Finley. Uh, so, how did you feel <laughs> about uh, his his working with the FBI? His what? The guy on the jet ski, Kevin James. <laughs> yeah, we, we talked about this. <laughs> David Spade <laughs> is the Tiger King. <laughs> oh, uh, hell yeah. He has the same voice and everything. Yeah, it's creepy how, like, that could be, like, a really good role for him. Mm. Bring him back to I'll do one this for your career. <laughs> <laughs> Have another resurgence. So anybody seen David Spade in, in anything since uh, Grown Ups 2? There is a... John, you know the... what I'm gonna say. Uh... If there's this movie that they're in. What's the one? Is it Pixels or? Oh yes, uh, it has the best oh, yeah. line in a film that I've it's ever so heard. Good. Like, uh, there's uh, Kevin James is in it and he plays the president. <laughs> <laughs> and like they think they've won, and they're all celebrating <laughs> in a bar afterwards. And someone oh. gives the Kevin James a, dr uh, a a beer, and he's like. The president can't be seen drinking in a time of crisis. So nobody look! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's perfect. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's I just so made, good. It I made just much of the whole film worth it, so. Like, I just oh. imagine, like, Arthur living in the White House stole with him, and then... <laughs> Paul Clark, Clark, Clark. He's like, yeah, he's like, Trying to get his like presidential powers to like let him like I don't know do sh do weird shit. <laughs> how how do you think the Kevin James president would handle the world at the moment? Could be doing oh, worse. Hell, that's a lot of boxes. I don't think we even you know <laughs> with him as president. How are you going to take on these bad boys, Sean? We'd probably be dead by now. Gonna go up here first. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think we would all be fine if Kevin James was just world president, to be honest. Sean, world why president. did you avoid the big wall of boxes? I... Oh! <laughs> Insert a ball. test the man, okay? This ain't my first rodeo. I was on the edge. Of glory.